um, uh, next evolution board and uh, especially about the analog extension board one that we start uh, testing last time uh, this time we will talk more about the 8-bit IO extension port and we will see how can we also input data and uh, also how to uh, make it properly running uh, for this task uh, we will use today a 4x4 matrix keyboard uh, I really think it's a it's a very very good uh, simple device to be used as a uh, input exercise and uh, also it will give us the opportunity to write a very very simple driver for it the connection is very simple as usual you have the next evolution board and on top of it you are just connecting the extension board and on the same next extension bus we will connect the OLED display that we will use to just to print the number of the keys that we will uh, uh, press. The, the keyboard will be connected directly to the 8-bit IO extension port. So as you can see everything is very very compact and you have practically no wires hanging around. The only thing that we need is to hook up the USB cable and we are in business. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the matrix keyboards. So, as you can see from this very, very simple drawing, a matrix keyboard is organized based on columns and rows. Actually, in this case of this 4x4 four four 16 buttons uh, keyboard, we have these 16 buttons found on the crossing, on the intersection between each column and each row. So, for column 1, for example, if we are looking at the button 1, the button 1 is on the intersection between the column 1 and the row 1. So when we will press 1, it will activate row 1. Same thing for 4, it will go on row 2, 7, it will go on row 3, and star will go on row 4 when we have this column active so it's already obviously how it's working how can we scan this type of keyboard and how can we read back the values the correct values for this type of keyboard so what we will do actually we will make active each column one by one and after that we will start reading the rows so if you want we will write out data for column one two three four and we will read in data for rows one two three four so let's take a look uh, also on the software side uh, it will make it more easy to understand so if we are looking on our software uh, we will see that we have defined the port that means data out the columns if you want yeah as 1248 1248 means the first four pins of the 8-bit io extension port and the rows are defined like 128, 64, 32, and 16. That means the next four values as they are on our uh, AN1 extension port. So let's 
so now we can say that column 1 will be 1 column 2 will be 2 column 3 will be 4 column 4 will be 8 yes and now for the rows we have 128 64 32 and 16 so what means that uh, that means that if we are uh, setting the bit for example for column one yeah so let's say column one will be active yeah so let's suppose that column one is active yeah this is the this is just a convention just to to sign the fact that column one is active yeah so it will be one uh, uh, this time it's it's exactly one but uh, it really doesn't matter you can have whatever value it can be eight it's just a convention uh, so this column is active now after we activate a column we will scan the four the four rows to see exactly which one is active because the active row will give us the number the name if you want the value of the key that we pressed yeah so if we are pressing uh, key one with row one active then uh, it's obviously the value will be on row one and we should see 128 if we press key seven in our row scanning process the value that we need to obtain it's 32 so and so on if we, we are making active for example um, column 4 and we will press uh, key 6 then the value that we will we need to see will be 64 yeah okay so let's go on the software side and uh, see how it's working because it will be uh, more easier to understand uh, first of all we need to do some initialization in the software we need to proper initialize the OLED display because we will use it just to to print out the the numbers the the key that we we will press yeah so let's do the initialization for the display. Uh, when it will be done, uh, we should see uh, the text message uh, keyboard input key. Yeah. Okay. And now we can continue with the initialization of the 8-bit I/O expander port it's basically the initialization of the 8574 we used it before in the previous example so i will not insist this time too much about the the new thing the the new things that are coming if you want uh, are the the read input function and the way uh, as we we organized our ports and rows and keys and uh, the corresponding tables yes so as i said before the the port yeah the output data if you want or if you want the columns this is the table for the columns are one two four eight yeah these are the values that we need to write on the port to be able to activate column 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the row table it's the table with the data that we need to read in to uh, find which row it's active that it's row 1, uh, row 2, 3 or 4 with the corresponding values of 128, 64, 32 and 16 the key table and this is the uh, most interesting one if you want the key table it's the table that is giving us the translation between the key code 
because each pressed key will return a code and this table is making the translation between the key code and the key value if you look here you see that uh, it's actually organized on columns yeah it's one four seven star two five eight zero three six nine pound a b c d so we have all the 16 keys in this table uh, now for scanning the the port to be able to see which key was pressed we will use a timer uh, yeah, yes yes you have right uh, we will use a timer this time uh, because uh, we are not using interrupts it's obviously we are not using interrupts yes you have right we will use interrupts probably next time so this time we will just use a plain timer uh, that will do the scanning uh, for every 100 milliseconds yeah so uh, first it will set set the the port it will uh, choose the corresponding column yeah port i it's the corresponding column yes yeah? so first it will take the first column it will activate the first column and will read the input and based on the value that was found it will parse and it will uh, see which row it's the active one yeah and so on for the all the the the, the four columns yeah so let's see what's happening if we will uh, activate the, the timer Uh, let's choose to press uh, first key yeah one so we, we pressed key one yeah we have column one we have uh, a row 128 yeah uh, the read value is 129 the read key is one and the key value is one now let's go back and see if we are right or not so we have column one yeah we have pressed key one and we returned 128 as a value let's explain a little bit further what's happening read key read key means the the key code if you want yeah and pressed key value it's the the value that it's returned from the key table yeah so basically we have key one that has value one uh, it's very very important to understand this thing because you will see what's happening when we will press a key next key that will be four for example yeah if we press four then we have again it's the first column yeah it's the first column but now it's the second row it's the second row you see 64 as we said here yeah 64 it's 4 active yeah the read key it's 2 it's the second key yeah but the value it's 4 so if we are looking in in the table we will see that the, the value is 4 yeah uh, now it's obviously if we press 7 uh, it's again the first column it's the third row yeah it's 32 so now it's 32 with 7 same first column it's the third key and it has value 7 yeah okay uh, let's go directly and press a random key let's choose to press 9 so in case of nine, uh, we will see that we have the column, the, the value of the column has been four, yeah, it's, it's the third column, yeah. Uh, the row 
is is the is the third row so the row value is 32 yeah the read key it's 11th yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11th and the value translated key value it's 9 yeah and if we press the latest one d it's it should be what do you think yeah it should be 16 yeah so the column it's eight because it's the fourth column yeah the row value it's 16 yeah the read key value it's 16 is the 16th one in the key table yeah and the translated value it's d yeah so now here we have 16 and we have the d that is translated on the fourth column that it's eight so more or less this is how it's working yeah b of course you can keep it pressed yeah and it will auto repeat because we have this timer that it's scanning it's scanning every 100 milliseconds so uh, if you want to make it uh, press faster or you want to slow it down uh, or even use it as a debounce filter for the button you can do it from here changing this value yeah so if i if i keep pressed five you see it will work as a auto repeat key uh, if we will uh, you need to keep this value yes uh, you need to keep this value on a um, decent level so 100 milliseconds I think it's okay also to do some sort of uh, software debounce uh, this keyboard is not exactly the the best quality in town it's just a standard keyboard okay so that's all for today uh, I really hope that you enjoy it and if you like it just give me a thumbs up and uh, see you next time